morning. It's so good to talk to Cavis Reed. Cavis, how are you? I'm absolutely great, thank you. Awesome, good. What's life been like for you the last few months here? It's been a bit of a refreshing time for me, an opportunity to really reflect and really re-familiarize myself with my family. Well, that's great, That's all, which is the most important thing, I guess. Did, absolutely. Did you have anything professionally on the, on the horizon in the future, or are you just kind of waiting to see what unfolds here? You know, the biggest thing is for me right now, I went back to school, uh, completing a uh, degree, and um, hopefully uh, look into some endeavors pretty soon. But uh, nothing in terms of football right now that uh, is worthy talking about. Okay. Well, you're such a great talent. I'd love to see you back doing that again, too. But uh, we'll see I appreciate how, it. We'll see how you're led, I guess, in all this. <laughs> sure. Awesome. <laughs> You know what amazes me, Cavis, is, uh, I mean, uh, those of us in the public eye, and you certainly were as the Eskimos head coach, we feel like we have an obligation to help out the community. And you're not in that position anymore, but you're still helping out the community, which says a lot about your character as a man. Um, and this weekend, and I'm going to be at this event, by the way, you're going to be at the Brian Dirksen concert with the Watoto Children's Choir, I understand. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a, a wonderful event to help raise funds. Uh, to help young children who are in tough situation health wise and I've done this for a number of years now and I feel it's a worthy cause and it's never never and not an opportunity to give your time for the betterment of society. Uh, are you going to be up singing with Brian and the kids? Uh, you know, I want the crowd to be in the giving mood, so I, I won't. Uh, <laughs> I, I won't uh, run the people away by my singing talents or lack thereof. Well, well, the music is going to be outstanding, but there are some other things happening besides the music, I guess, that night as well, Cavis. Yeah, there's a live auction uh, when uh, I'll be participating in uh, to hopefully help raise some funds for some donations that were given to this uh, this charity, and uh, I am looking forward to a lot of people being in a, in a very generous mood. The, the Watoto children, they're in a, from a community in Africa. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I understand they have, like, uh, aunties who look after them, and they're orphans, and then kind of raise them, and so some of the money will go to that. But there, I understand it's breaking off into some other donation categories as well, Cavis. Yeah, you know, a lot of it is uh, for surgeries for kids that uh, have health needs. Mm. Uh, a lot of it is to help kids in terms of schooling, et cetera. So a lot of the funding or all of the funding uh, should be uh, noted that it's going to be going to these children that uh, are in dire need of our support. Mm. And some of it stays here. I hope Missions Brightwood Ranch, I understand, will benefit as well for some of the inner city children also. And, you know, and I always say there are two populations that uh, we are uh, responsible for taking care of, and that's our young people and our older people. Mm -hmm. Well said, yeah. Now, we should, I'm missing them, some of the major points here. Is it, It's Saturday night, isn't it, Cavis? Yes, sir, it's Saturday okay. night. <laughs> and uh, I think doors open at 5 o'clock, and uh, the, the music and singing will probably start at 7 o'clock, and uh, they'll get to uh, listen to me somewhere in between. Awesome. All right. And, and during all of this, I've seen this guy before. Louis Lavoie is going to be doing, and you wonder, what the heck's the guy painting? And by the time he's through, this amazing canvas comes out on stage. Oh, so I've there. watched him now two years in a row, an absolutely impressive young man that donates his time. And the paintings that he has produced at these events have been absolutely outstanding, has drawn tremendous reviews. And, and people are not disappointed watching him put together really a masterpiece. And uh, the young man, you can see that his heart and spirit is totally into his artwork. Yeah. Do, do you know, uh, if you do you have a list of any of the items you'll be auctioning off? Or are you, do you know exactly what... What's going I, on? I will have the list given to me uh, today, but uh, okay. there are a number of items that uh, they never disappoint in terms of the items. Uh, a lot of things ranging from vacations to a lot of different tours and all those things that wow. uh, that we can find use for. Awesome. So again, it's Brian Dirksen, the Watoto Children's Choir from Africa, and Cavis Reed. And uh, tickets available, is it embracecharity.ca? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, all right. Charity .ca and uh, they can go up and read on all the wonderful things that this charity has been doing and all the wonderful people that are involved with this charity as well. It just sounds like a really nice relaxed, e relaxed evening, some dessert served, and then you'll be doing the auction. It's, I think it's going to be fun, some great music as well. You know, it's a it's a wonderful family evening. It's a wonderful evening where the kids can come and really see uh, community working together to make things better. And uh, it's a fun evening as well, and uh, absolutely spiritually rewarding evening. There you go. Thank you, Cavis. God bless you. Good talking to you this morning, and we will see you on Saturday night. Absolutely, awesome. my pleasure. And Thank I look forward to seeing you. Thank